In this video, we're looking at this uh, beautiful Kiesel guitar that I bought. It was a Kiesel SCN bevel, single cut bevel uh, guitar. Um, it had a satin finish uh, and like this antique white with zebra pickups. Uh, they were lithium, the Kiesel lithium pickups. Uh, it had a couple really neat features about it. It had ebony fingerboard, which I love. Um, it has locking tuners. It had like a entirely like flat neck to body angle. It was all like oh, 180 degrees. It wasn't at an angle like a Gibson or a lot of other guitars like ESP even, which is my personal favorite. Uh, they have sort of a, that offset angle like a Gibson due to the uh, Tandematic bridge but Kiesel they actually like route into the body and set the bridge in into the body lower and so it just it stays flat like it has a uh, like a hip shot bridge or something like that like a, a Fender guitar um, it's really cool uh, However, I just didn't like the guitar. Um, when I pulled it out, um, the pickups were set up like right on the high string, the high E string. And so when I first played it, I was like, oh, what is that horrible sound? It's like ice picking and everything. And I initially, I called the company. I was like, man, your guitar... It's horrible. This is like the worst guitar I've ever heard in my life. And he's like, what? Is it too trebly? I was like, you guys know that they're instantly, the first thing I'm talking about is that your guitar is set up too trebly. Apparently they have some, uh, some guy in their quality check that just sets up guitars to sound like crap because that's exactly how this guitar sounded, was just like garbage. Um, I've played a couple different, a couple hundred different guitars in my life. You know, just going to Guitar Center, going to Sweetwater, going to, you know, just various different guitar stores, and then playing your friend's guitar, playing other people's guitar. And this was hands down the worst sounding guitar I've ever played. Um, also the frets, however nice the, the frets were rounded off on, along the, the fretboard, which was absolutely gorgeous and phenomenal. Uh, I just didn't like them. They felt horrible to my personal touch. I am very heavy handed. I don't mind a high action. I don't care if it's set up to be lowest of the low, you know. So when I played the strings, which were very tall, they're tall, like skinny frets, to like a tall jumbo or something, if there is such a thing. Uh, it all felt like a scalloped fingerboard, which I'm not a fan of. I mean, it's cool. There's a lot of people out there that like it. Uh, it just wasn't for me. Um, so. In my opinion, this guitar, as much as I paid for it, it was not worth the money. Um, so I returned it. But before I returned it, I made this video that way I could share my opinion and views on the guitar with all you and let you know honestly um, my opinion on a Kiesel guitar. I think it is one of the best built guitars I've ever seen and played. I think they're gorgeous to look at. However, they just don't sound and they don't f feel that good to me when you play it. So please leave a comment, thumbs up, let me know what you think. Um, I set the guitar up, I lowered the pickup, and it sounded a lot better. However, it's just really trebly like a Seymour Duncan pickup, which I'm not a huge fan of. 
I know Seymour Duncan is one of the top names in the whole guitar pickup game. It just, it's not my thing, man. I like DiMarzio. I've made videos in the past of DiMarzio versus Seymour Duncan. And then everybody that's ever commented is like, yeah, I like the DiMarzio better. It has more full range of the guitar spectrum. It has lows, it has mids, it has high end. Duncan's, and especially this Kiesel uh, lithium pickup, is all high end. There's like almost no low end. It's more like a high mid and high. So it just cut your head off. Um, if this guitar was like 500 bucks, I would have loved it, but not for the money I paid. Thank you. Um, please share your opinion. Thank <laughs> you.